Okay, so the bathtub problem. Say the good thing for the bathtub. Okay, say there's a bathtub full of water. Okay? You pull the plug from the bathtub. Okay, so it's full. You pull the plug. After 40 seconds, there are 13 gallons of water left in the tub. One minute after you pull the plug. Well, wait a second. They just went from seconds to minutes. Can we trade for those minutes? Yes, if it's one minute, we'll say 60 seconds. So be careful there. Okay? Assume that the number of gallons varies linearly. What does that mean? What does that mean for our slopes? Yes. Okay, our constant rates of change here. It says write two ordered pairs and find the rate of change. So if you want to write ordered pairs, okay, here, 40 seconds corresponds to. 13 gallons. So 40 comma 13 is going to be our first point. Okay, our second point is going to be something comma 10. What's my something? 60. Okay, so there we talked about it has to be seconds since we're dealing with seconds here. Okay, go ahead and find the slope. So you use slope formula, find your slope. They have to use a calculator. I'm getting negative 1.5. I'm sorry, negative 0.15. You agree? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not calculating that, you're just writing down what I'm writing down, it's not helping you learn. Okay? I'm not looking that you write put down your paper. I'm looking that you know it. Okay, so make sure you know how to find slope. Yes? So it says interpret the slope. So let's talk about what does this mean? What does this rate of change mean if we're talking about a bathtub drain? Yes. yes. Okay. This is how much water the bathtub is losing. Um, yes, every second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Go ahead and write that down. The bathtub is draining at a rate of 0.15 gallons per second. Now, I didn't put the negative in there because we don't have negative in water. Okay, but why is our slope negative? You're decreasing, right? You're losing water. So the y-intercept is probably going to be positive because that's how much water we start with. And then that uh, slope is negative because we're going to keep subtracting the water. Are you tracking with me on that? Okay. So, write an equation for gallons, G, left in the tub, in terms of number of seconds since you pulled the plug. Okay, so if we're going to write, write an equation, Y equals MX plus B, what do we already have? What have we found? We found our slope, which is M. Do we have our Y intercept, the original amount of water? No, but we can find it. Do you remember what we did yesterday to find it? Point slope form. Okay, you can choose whichever point you want to choose. I'm going to use the first one, okay, 40 and 13. I'm just going to use that one. That's my x1 and my y1. And I'm going to fill in my formula. Okay, do we leave it like that? No, what do we want to do? Not yet. We want to solve for y. Okay. So first, we would distribute. So go to distribute that negative uh, 0.15.
Okay, and then add 13. I'm getting 19 as B. Do you agree with 19? Yeah. So that should be our equation. Y equals negative 1 or negative 0.15x plus 19. Questions for me on that process? It's a very common process. It's going to happen a lot in the next couple days. So you're going to be working with that kind of stuff. Part C, how many gallons are RB left? Are left, we don't need that, okay, are left after 20 seconds. How are we going to figure that out? Plug 20 in for what? X. down to 16, so it, it drains three gallons in a matter of 20 seconds. That's pretty fast. Is that pretty fast? Yeah, that's a lot. Think about a gallon of water, like a gallon of milk, right? You probably have one of those two at home, okay? So think about that. Think about three of those in 20 seconds. Like some, like a drain, draining. That's a lot, okay? Then don't think about drinking that much when you cannot. Like 30, How do you know? We're off the line. <laughs> Dangerous. Okay. How many gallons are left after 50 seconds? What are we going to do with that 50? Plug it in for X. I'm getting 11.5. You getting 11.5? All right, let's keep moving. At what time will there be seven gallons left? Okay, now this is different. The last two questions gave you what? They gave you X, they gave you second, okay? Here, they're giving you the number of gallons that remain. Well, the, re the remaining gallons is always Y. So we're gonna plug in seven for our Y value, okay? And this time we're solving for X. So we're going to subtract 19. And then we're going to divide by our slope. I'm getting 80. You get 80? Okay. 80 what? 80 seconds. Okay, so does that mean that it drains seven gallons in 80 seconds? No. Does that mean that seven gallons are drained in no. 80 seconds? No. No, it doesn't. What does it mean? Nobody left after yes, after 80 seconds, there's seven gallons left. Okay, if we want to look at how many were drained in 80 seconds, what would we do? You would take 19 minus. Seven, okay, that would be 12. Okay, so you have to think about what's actually going on here. All right, what is the y-intercept? We already found that, right? The y-intercept was 19. What does this number represent in the real world? What real, real <laughs> world? Yeah. Yes, before you pulled that plug, there were 19 gallons of water in the tub. So starting gallons in the tub. All right, after how many seconds will the water be gone? How do we solve that? 
zero for y. Remember, y is the number of gallons that's in the tub. We want the number of gallons to be zero. Okay, this, in this case, we're going to solve for x. So go ahead and subtract 19. And then divide by that slope. Uh, let me look at the number here real quick. One twenty six. Yeah, I would just say one. We'll just sit round it up to one twenty seven. One twenty seven. What? Seconds. Seconds. Okay, so it takes one hundred and twenty seven seconds for the bathtub to drain. Let's think about that in minutes. How would I find that in minutes? Oh. Divide it by sixty. Two point one repeating. Okay. Now that's like two minutes and how many seconds? Seven. 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 Yeah, so you would take this, right? It's like eleven percent. Eleven percent of a minute of sixty seconds. So two minutes roughly seven seconds. All right, sketch the graph. Use a suitable domain. Let's think about domain. Domain is associated with which value? X. X. Okay. X is what in this case? Time and second. Is there ever negative time? No. no. So we're going to start at zero. And if it ends, okay, if it ends at 127 seconds, let's just say that this is 130. Okay, so this would be a rough graph, and that's fine. You should be thinking totally what's going on. Okay, think about the number, the, the, the amount of water in gallons. What's the highest amount of gallons that the tub has? 19, so let's just say 20 up here, okay? And we can put our Y... We can put our y-intercept just right below that at 19. Okay? Now, do we know if this is a straight line or not? Yes. yes. Remember what I said? Linear. Right there. Okay? And that tells us that our graph is a straight line. So, oops. When you go to your graph, okay, you can draw a straight line from point A to about, where was it, 127? Okay? So it would be right before that 130. Okay? That's, that's all I need to see. I don't need to see a bunch of points. Okay? I need to see that you know where it's going to start, where it's going to end on the x-axis, and then what the y-axis is. Okay? Go ahead and flip it over. Okay? I am... I'm going to have you do that on your own. Okay, do that on your own. As soon as you get it done, you can come up to me, show me, okay? Listen up really quick. And then you're going to grab this page, okay? Each one of these questions, they're numbered, corresponds to a question that's hanging around the room, okay? So you can go and you can do that when you get finished with the uh, golf ball problem. Yeah, you have a little piece of paper? Okay, yeah. those correspond to this. So bring the golf ball problem up to me when you're done, okay? And then you can get started on the activity. Thank you.